there is nothing like a big bowl of chicken soup on a cold day. So today I am sharing with you three clean and delicious variations of this cold weather classic. I'm gonna be showing you my go-to chicken noodle soup with brown rice pasta. Then I've got a lemon and spinach chicken soup. And finally, a veggie packed spicy chicken soup. So can I please get a big thumbs up if you appreciate chicken soup options. Now, if you really wanna take this soup to the next level, then you're gonna to wanna to make this with homemade chicken stock. Now, I just shared a video on how to do that, so check it out if you need it. But if you are in a hurry and you need to keep it fast and easy, then you can also do this with store-bought chicken stock. That will be perfectly fine. So let's get started with my classic chicken noodle soup. I've got a nice big pot heating up over a medium high heat, and I'm adding in just a tablespoon of olive oil. Then once that oil has heated through, I'm gonna add in some chopped onions, garlic, carrots, celery, a few sprigs of fresh thyme. Now, if you didn't have fresh thyme, you could sub in a little bit of dry thyme. That would be perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna give it a hit of salt and pepper. Give it a stir and let this cook for about five to eight minutes. I'm just looking to get the raw edge off of those veggies and have them so they're just beginning to become nice and tender. Then I'll add my chicken stock. So I've got eight cups of chicken stock and I'm gonna turn the heat up and let everything come to a boil. From here, I'm gonna reduce it back down to a simmer and add in one and a half cups of shredded chicken. Now I am using the shredded chicken that is left over from my homemade chicken stock. That's the bonus of making homemade stock. You've got your chicken ready to go too. But again, if you're in a pinch, a little store-bought rotisserie chicken would do the job. Just shred it up and add it into the soup. Perfecto. Now, while that's heating up, let's chat about our noodles. Now, unless I know that we're going to be eating the entire pot of soup in one sitting, I never add my noodles into the soup because what happens is the noodles will absorb all the broth and then they get really mushy and personally i like a noodle with a little bit of integrity so what i like to do is i cook my pasta on the side in this case i'm using some brown rice pasta i really like the taste and the texture and then when the soup is ready to go i take about a half a cup of that pasta i put it in the bottom of my bowl and then i ladle my soup right over the top then I finish it with a little fresh chopped parsley and this soup is ready to go. My next variation of chicken soup is my lemon and spinach chicken soup with tri-colored couscous. My kids especially love this version. So I'm gonna start the base of the soup the same exact way that we did before. I've got a large pot heating up. I've got one tablespoon of olive oil that I'm gonna heat in the pot. And then once that oil has heated through, I will add in my chopped onions, garlic, carrots, celery, and then I am adding the zest from two lemons. Give that a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and I'm gonna let that go for about five minutes. Again, we're just looking to take the raw edge off of the veggie. Now, because the lemon zest is the outside of your lemon, I always try to buy organic lemons that give them a good rinse under some cold water. And then I just use a microplane and just gently scrape the lemon along and you will get this bright, beautiful zest. Now you see this white part here, that's called the pith. And that lies between the zest and then the inside of the lemon. And it tends to be a little bit bitter. So what we're going for is this bright yellow zest on the outside. That's where all the oils are in your lemon and that's where we're gonna get the beautiful lemon flavor. Once my veggies have begun to soften a bit, I am adding in a cup and a half of shredded chicken along with a few handfuls of baby spinach. Then we've got two sliced scallions and the juice from those two lemons that we zested earlier. Finish that with some homemade chicken stock, give it all a stir, crank it up and let everything come up to a boil. Once this is heated through, it's ready to serve. So what I do for this soup is I treat my couscous the same way I do my pasta. And remember, all couscous is, is pasta. It's little, tiny, little baby balls of pasta. So I cook it ahead of time, and then I take about a half a scoop, I put it in the bottom of my bowl, and then when my soup has heated through, I ladle it over the top, finish it with a little bit of extra lemon zest and some scallions, and the soup is ready to serve. This soup is bright, it's fresh, but it's still warm and comforting, so it's one of my favorite variations. And then finally, I have a nice spicy veggie packed chicken soup. This one is sans the noodles. So again, we are gonna start this soup just like we did the other two, except this one's not gonna have any celery. So I've got my pot heating up. I am adding just a little bit of olive oil to the bottom. 
Once that has heated through, I'm gonna add in my onions. Then I've got my garlic, and I like to do extra garlic for this one because garlic is a powerful immunity booster, and I always find myself going to this soup when I'm feeling a little under the weather. Then we've got some sliced carrots and half of a minced jalapeno. Now, you can do more or less jalapeno depending on how spicy you like your soup. And remember, all jalapenos vary in heat. Now, the key to a jalapeno is to know that most of the heat resides in the seeds and in this little membrane right here. So if you like it really spicy, make sure to include that. And if you want something a little milder, then you could remove that and then chop the jalapeno up and add it to the pot. So that's just personal preference. Give that a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna let that go five, 10 minutes. Again, we want those veggies to get the raw edge off and start to become nice and tender. Next up, I have some thinly sliced cabbage, chopped up zucchini, some diced canned tomatoes. If you had fresh, you could dice those up as well. And then of course, my homemade chicken stock. I'm gonna crank up the heat, let everything come up to a boil, and then I'm gonna reduce it back down to a simmer and finish it by adding in shredded chicken, some baby spinach, fresh chopped cilantro, and then finish that with a big squish of fresh lime juice. Once this has heated through and the spinach has wilted down, this soup is ready to serve. Now, personally, I love to finish this one off with a little bit of extra cilantro and lime juice and then some sliced avocado right over the top. Mm, mm, mm. All three of these soups will last up to five days in your fridge or you can freeze them for up to six months. So now I am curious, which soups do you think you will try first and why? Come on down to the comments below and let me know and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone else you know who wants some clean and delicious chicken soup. Be sure you tag me on Instagram or Facebook with any of the pictures of the delicious food you're making in your very own kitchens. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. There, mm, there, there is nothing like a big boop. There is nothing like a warm bowl Now, can I please get a thumbs up for options? What's happening with the hair? Okay.